Well, no player made more tackles in a season in BYU than Wani Unga. His senior year caught the attention of NFL scouts, but an ACL injury in his final college game left him undrafted and unwanted. But Wani's been willing to pay the price, whatever's required to provide for his family and make his NFL dream a reality. What was your mindset going into camp? They gotta make this team. Whatever I need to do, get it done and, and make this team. Drop short of the first down, trailing back is Wani Unga. Wani Unga was a long shot to make the New York Giants roster in training camp, but considering what he had to go through just to earn the opportunity, he was just grateful to be given a chance. Not many NFL teams want a 27-year-old coming off an ACL injury. Things didn't work out on the draft day, and I didn't even get put on any team at all. I thought it might have been done. My career might have been done. Instead, his NFL journey was just beginning. His wife, Lachelle, and three kids along for the ride. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, definitely. It's been exciting. We've kind of just been trying to live in the moment because we don't know what can happen next. Middle of the field by Wani Unga. Wani was out of football for almost a year, rehabbing his injured knee, attending one tryout after another. It was constant rejection, days and weeks separated from his wife and children. But all the hard work and sacrifice finally paid off this summer. I was just focused. Nothing, nothing mattered. Wani impressed coaches and teammates during training camp and the preseason. He learned on September 5th that he made the Giants 53-man roster. Someone posted on Twitter and his name was on there and we were just like, oh, this is kind of weird. Like, it doesn't feel like we thought it'd feel. It's just kind of like, oh my gosh, now what? That's so weird. A moment of relief for both of us for the time being. Well, first off, I think he's tough. I think he's an ex extremely intelligent football player. That's what makes him him. He, he takes coaching extremely well. And when you see a guy who wants it, you know, you, you want to help him out. I was happy when he made the team, and you know, now he's here, and he's going to help us out tremendously. On Sunday Night Football, Al Michaels, Chris Collins with Chris. We know they're a good ball club, but you come in here, and everybody knows how tough it is to win. That same week, due to an injury to teammate John Beeson, he would start in his NFL debut against the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday Night Football. I was actually kind of, was kind of scared a little bit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I bet. I've drained my whole life to, to make it here in the NFL, and then my debut was a starting job. He led the team in tackles with 12, and his interception was one of the highlights of the game. His first game, I cried, and <laughs> I'm not a crier. After the game, I think he even was like a little emotional to see my, me and my kids walk down the stairs to say hi to him. What's it like to go from undrafted and unwanted to being a part of one of the top franchises in the NFL? It's, it's something special. I mean, being in the NFL period is, is something unique. Sometimes it hits me like, am I, am I really out here, you know? And so I try not to think too much about it, but definitely there's some days where I feel blessed to be out here. You've got to hand it to Unga. He's been filling in for John Beeson at a really tough position, middle linebacker, and he's performed well in the first couple of weeks. Even now that he's made an NFL roster, life isn't easy. The family is still separated. Wani in New Jersey, Lachelle and the kids in Utah. For us, it was the, the best decision to just kind of keep the family back home where I could uh, be a little more focused, study, be able to study more. We're apart from each other. He hasn't seen my, our kids since August. I love mommy and daddy. <laughs> Every day I'm FaceTiming with them thanks to technology. It it's, makes it a little easier, though still kind of difficult. We thought like we'd make it and it'd be great and we'd have money and we'd feel great. And then you really see how it is when you're in it, and it is so different. Hi. There's always uncertainty with life in the NFL. After all they've been through to get here, they don't take it for granted. It's tough. It is hard. It's really hard to stay in it. How important has her support been for you in this journey? She makes life completely easy, stress-free. She's been a big support in be able to let me do my thing. 
just emotionally, especially our situation, it's just been rough. But we're thankful still every day. <laughs> The younger family is about to get bigger. Wani and Lachelle are expecting their fourth child soon. He has missed the last two weeks with a neck injury, but he expects to return to the starting lineup Sunday against the Redskins.